Hi, this is Justin with the Attic Depot again. Today I'm going to show how to mark the center of the hole for your fan installation. When you're inside of the attic, you're going to want to measure down two to three feet, and that's going to be the center of the hole. And this, for this video, we're going to do two feet. You just mark right here in the center of the rafters. You've got your mark. Take a screw and run it up through there. This is going to give you the center of the hole that you're going to cut, and that's all you need to do from inside of the attic at this point. That's it. Now I'm going to show how to plunge and cut the hole. I like to use a blade that has a plunging hook on it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an extra inch out of the top of this. That way the fan will slide up under there with ease. I'm going to start by going about an inch over on either side. I'm going to put the mark there, mark there, and then just as best as you can go over the top. Make it as even as possible. Come around. Over there. You're going to take your roofing knife, roofing blade, hook blade, and just go up and cut all of this. Off. Once you have that done, you're ready to cut the nails underneath. So what I like to do is use the same sawzall that I used before with a 12 inch metal blade and just run it underneath. Now you're ready for the fan to slide up under there. Since at this point the fan already has the caulk on it, you're going to want to make sure that you don't set it flat on the roof, otherwise it's going to stick to the roof. Make sure that you have your thermostat on and the arrows are lined up, otherwise the fan is not going to run again. That inside of the roof, take your fan, slide it up underneath the shingles, like so. Slides in with ease. Take your impact with the 5 16th hex set. Once you've got the first one in, you can take your hand off of it and go around and screw in all of the other. There are eight screws. You're going to want to make sure you get all of those in. Three on the bottom. And then lift up the shingle just a little bit. Just get some of the screw hole. And 
the back side, more than likely you're not going to be able to see the other pre-drilled hole in the, the shroud of the fan, but you're still going to want to go under this first layer of shingles. So just pull this one up and get it just as close to where you believe the, the uh, pre-drilled hole would be. You have to just lift the first layer of shingles, get up under there. 